All right, this time we will convert a 2D image logo to 3D in DaVinci Resolve 17. Create a Fusion Composition, 3D logo, and open it in the Fusion page. Drag the image plane 3D, and render 3D from the toolbar to the node editor. From the medial pool, drag the 2D image logo into the editor, which we will be working on. To add the 2D image to a 3D scene, connect the media in node to the image plane as material input. The 3D renderer node will render the 3D result to the media out. Once all the nodes are connected, we can see the logo appears in the right viewer. Now we can close the media panel to have more working space. Select the image plane 3D node, press shift space to open the tool selection window. Search and insert a duplicate 3D node after the image plane. In the duplicate 3D node inspector, set the copies to 200. And in the translation section, change the Z offset to 0.001. Select the renderer 3D node and go to the inspector. Change the render type to OpenGL Renderer for faster rendering. We see some changes in the logo, but not a 3D look. Select the duplicate 3D node, press Shift Space and find Transform 3D, insert it after the duplicate 3D node. In the inspector, change the rotation Y value, and we can tell the logo gets thicker with these 200 copies, but not readable, because there is no lighting yet. Drag a spotlight node from the toolbar into the node editor and connect the spotlight output to the transform 3D output. A merge 3D node is automatically added and connected. Drag the merge 3D node into the left viewer where we can work on the 3D composition. And to make the position adjustment easier, we can enable the use target option for the spotlight. Right click inside the 3D viewer and enable the lighting and shadows options in the pop-up menu, which allows us to see the lighting effects as we adjust the spotlight. But the lighting effects are not rendered in the right viewer as we adjust the spotlight, that's because the lighting options are not enabled for the renderer. Select the renderer 3D node, go to the inspector, enable the lighting and shadows options. As we adjust the spotlight in the left 3D viewer, we can review the result in the right viewer. To make things a bit interesting, we will add animation to the transform node by enabling the keyframes for translation and rotation attributes. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the clip. Adjust the translation and rotation values to set the animation start point. Move the playhead to the middle of the clip. In this demo, I use frame 99. Change the translation and rotation values until we see a result we like as the ending point. To keep the logo spinning after it reaches the maximum size, go to the end of the clip, change the rotation Z value to 400. Play the clip, we now have a 3D logo flying into the view. But before it reaches the spotlight, it's a bit too dark. Select the Merge 3D node, press Shift Space and insert an ambient light into the scene. We can put the ambient light anywhere in the scene, as its position does not affect the lighting result. In the inspector panel, we can adjust the ambient light intensity if you like. Play the clip. I think now it's good. Go to the editing page. Drag the 3D logo composition to the timeline. For this demo, we add a four color background as always. Wait until the cache is fully rendered and play the timeline the 3D logo is now animated and flying. Okay, this is all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.